Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to make like a skin for any car in a Seto Corsa, whether it be a mod car or a uh, or a default Kunos car. So what you want to do is you want to go to this menu here in Content Manager, find whatever car we're wanting to make a, a skin for. Let's just say I want to do it for the Gorilla Mods uh, M4 GT4. I want to go uh, right click on the car and then open in custom showroom that's the first thing we're going to want to do this is how to this is how to get the template for the car so we've got the car in the custom showroom now you can see absolutely beautiful gorilla mods did a great job with this i want to click anywhere on the body and you'll see this menu pop up when you open it in showroom sorry it's just popping up on my other screen because that's the screen i normally use but uh not using it for this specific video you want to go to where it says TX Diffuse here on the side in the menu once you've clicked on the piece of the body and it's all highlighted like that. Go and click on the three dots. This menu will pop up and you're going to want to go down here to it. Don't worry about all this blabber. This won't show up. Uh, I can't exactly remember why this shows up for me, but it's whatever. It doesn't matter. What we're going to go do is go to Calculate AO. And for me, I normally go Calculate Map of Custom Size. And I normally go with a 4096 by 4096 map. Okay. And it will start rendering and this little bar will show up. So I will get back to you once that is finished rendering. Uh, just an important thing to note that I've just remembered. When you are doing this, uh, when you're rendering... You want to check these dimensions and make sure that the uh, what the resolution you're rendering is in, is proportionate to this. So, for example, this is 1024 by 1024, so it's a square. So, 4096 by 4096 will work. But there are some cars where it'll be a rectangle, so uh, you'd have to do 4096 by 2048. You'll just have to check this and make sure that whatever you're rendering in is the same shape, basically. Alright, now we have finished uh, rendering. I just want to see, can I bring this over to my screen? There we go. So we now you'll be presented with this. And this is the AO map that you've just generated. So you can see this is the original texture. It says down there. And this is the AO map. So what you want to do is you want to go press the save icon in the bottom right. And this window will pop up to export whatever it is. And we want to save it as a PNG, okay? And take note of what this is called. Uh, for example, this one's called skin underscore zero zero. So we want to we want to make sure we remember that. Uh, we can also see it here. Um, but just name it to whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to save it in where I save all my other templates. Uh, where am I looking for? New M4 G82 GT4 and I'm gonna save it here as skin.00 because that underscore zero zero sorry that because that is what it is called to the game. Save. Now we can close this and we'll want to go into here. Go into your file explorer and go find this car in your game files. What you could also do, actually this is going to be simpler, go back to content manager. Um, let's find that car again, sorry. Uh, what was it? This one. And go to open car and content tab. We want to go to folder. Skins. And make a new skin. Let's just call it test. We, we make a new folder. I'm going to call it test. And this is where we're going to put all the files we want for it. So, now that we've done that, we're going to find the file that we just saved. I put it in livery things under skin maps here. Right click this 
and open with GIMP or whatever editing software you're using. I, I use GIMP, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do this for. And GIMP should start opening. Oh god. Here we go. And GIMP has now opened with this. Now you can basically... Actually, sorry. Okay, sorry. Figured it out now. So, what we want to do first, actually, is go into image mode and set that to RGB so it's not just in grayscale because that's what it's default set to. And we want to make a layer and we want to make this... Sorry. I'm just going to change this back to normal quickly. We want to make this background layer white. And now we can set this to multiply, I believe. There we go. Now, what we can do is add whatever little, um, uh, what's it called? Like decals, designs, logos, whatever we want to this, um, to the car. So let's just, oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's just drag a 3M logo onto here. And we drag it underneath that skin.00 PNG layer. And you'll see that it works with the little uh, shading, basically. So if I drag it here, you'll see it works underneath. It gets shaded, basically. Which is what we want. It'll just make it look a bit better. Let's just chuck that 3M logo. There on the hood. Um, what else do we want to do? We can also then... I don't know, I've got a bunch of logos here for whatever. Um, chuck an ARC logo on there, maybe. Because why not get that little bit of promo for the Auto Racing Connected boys? And then... Let's put Chuck a PHRL logo on there as well. Get a bit of a promo for them as well. Because they're awesome too. Just give me a moment actually. Just rotate that so it's there on the door. Because why the hell not? Doesn't really matter. Control CV. Let's put it on the other side as well. Rotate. And just position it properly. Cool. Whatever. So do whatever you want to make your to make your car livery here, right? Now, what you want to do once you've made this is to export it we're going to go to file and we're going to go to export as now we're going to want to go find this the uh what's it called the cars file in the games uh files so i'm gonna go to local disk d because that's where i have a set of course installed go to my steam go to steam apps common set of course and then I want to go to content, cars, wait for this to load, and wait and just search for the car I'm looking for. That's the car, the M4 GT82. And we're going to go to test. I'm going to take this, keep the name exactly as it is here, like skin underscore zero zero dot PNG. And we're going to want to change the PNG to a DDS. And press export. Now, this, oh, this menu will pop up. This is very important. You want to set your uh, compression to BC3 slash DXT5. Then you want to save all visible layers. It is automatically set to selected layer, and it'll look weird. It, it won't work properly if you set, have it on selected layer. So you want to go all visible layers. I don't think map maps generally do anything, but you can set it to generate map maps if you want. 
And now we're going to export. Now, if we go into this car, uh, this car's showroom, let's go CM showroom, the custom showroom. Oh, there we go. And we can see we have our custom livery on the car. All nice, lovely, looking good. And that is basically the premise. Now, if you want, while you're editing the car, you can keep this, you can edit on one screen on GIMP and keep this, uh, the showroom open on another screen. It will update live. So, for example, if I went and added another logo to this, just have to open File Explorer again. And let's put a... What do we want to put? Mm. Let's chuck a BBS logo on there. Just scale that down. So it's just there. Awesome. Now you can do the layering here however you want. It's whatever. Now when we click file and we can just export to skin underscore zero zero dot dds and once that is exported we can go look back here and that bbs logo is on the thing it updates automatically so that's all you really need to make uh the the actual livery for your car but i'm going to show you a bit extra now uh that you can do just to make your car look a bit better like make it look a bit more professional so we don't have to actually worry about any of this anymore. Now, for these previews here, we can see, right, look very cool, show us our car, but this car that we've just made doesn't have that. So what we can do is as we are here in this, um, in this menu, uh, we actually, if we want to do it for just this car, we want to go to... Skin, no, uh, give me two seconds. I want to go back to here, then go to manage skins. Sorry, there we go. Now we can see this doesn't have this preview. So, what CM has is we can just go to update preview here, and it has many, it has different presets here, and I think. I think the one that these uh, default ones by Gorilla use is the dynamic, so that's what we're going to do. Go dynamic, it will start loading, and bang, we have our preview. As you can see, this is also something that's missing. So what we can do, if you want to be a bit lazy, you can just generate a livery icon, and it will generate it based on kind of like the car's color, and then we can name the car here as well. So whatever, it's going to call test example. Or if you want to uh, make the your own icon like you see here, uh, we'll just go grab a, a number board from a number board template. Generally, you want it to be a number. I I generally make them whatever the number board is. So I'm just going to go. Um, and go to, well, I think it's in MISC. It's not in MISC. It is in... It's in numbers, surely. Surely I put it in numbers. I did. Yes. So here is an example. Don't worry about any of this. Um, this is uh, the universal number template 2.0. You can find it on uh, overtake.gg. Very br It's a very useful tool. I'd very highly recommend you go do that. You go grab that. Um, and so we're just going to make this, going to make it a, um, what do you want to do? We can make it a Super GT logo, sure. Do whatever number you want here. Let's go to text, edit, I'll go 180 because that's my number. Oh, that's done it in the wrong font. 
I think. No, it hasn't. Am I dumb? Have I fucked some? I fucked something up, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna close you and not save. Uh, let's try that again because I'm dumb. I'm gonna go. Let's say the VLN one. Sure. Get a car number. Edit the text. One eight. No. One eight zero. Sure. Just we can move it around. And then what we want to go to do is export this as. Want to go back to that file that we found. So it's under test. It's in recently used because obviously we recently used it, and we want to save it as livery.png. Obviously, this is what you're on here because we auto generated one. But if we press export now here, we can go there, export. Now, if we go back to CM, we'll see that says 180 with the rover, everything, and it's all good. Right. Now, one more thing we can do for this car is we can uh, go to create JSON file here. Now, this is basically going to give a bunch of information about the car. Right, and like the where it's from. So now we can enter the drivers for this car. So let's just say Connor Dirt Team. If it's going to load. Okay, content manager is not responding. Love it when this happens. I put in a name and it's crashing. It's content manager. Listen, buddy. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, it's working now. BRT Simsport number 180 country, whatever country you're from. Priority. I don't really know how the priority works if I'm completely honest, so I don't bother with it. And now we just go to save down here. And all of that is saved and you basically, you have your livery. Uh, everything's ready and you can go racing. You just need to upload that folder to whoever your league is, who you're racing with. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial I've made. I um, hope it was helpful and I look forward to seeing you guys' liveries on track.